Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on solving system of linear equations using Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan methods. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to solve system of linear equations using Scilab, develop Scilab code to solve linear equations. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system with Scilab 5.3.3 version. To practice this tutorial, a learner should have basic knowledge of Scilab and should know how to solve linear equations. To learn Scilab, please refer to the relevant tutorials available on the Spoken Tutorial website. A system of linear equations is a finite collection of linear equations of the same set of variables. Let us study Gauss elimination method. Given a system of equations AX equal to B with M equations and N unknowns. We write the coefficients of the variable A1 to AN along with the constants B1 to BN of the system of equations N1 matrix called the augmented matrix. How do we convert the augmented matrix to an upper triangular form matrix? We do so by performing row-wise manipulation of the matrix. Let us solve the system of equations using Gaussian elimination method. Before we solve the system, let us go through the code for Gaussian elimination method. The first line of the code is Format E, 20. This defines how many digits should be displayed in the answer. The letter E within single quotes denotes that the answer should be displayed in scientific notation. The number 20 is the number of digits that should be displayed. The command Funcprot is used to let Scilab know what to do when variables are redefined. The argument 0 specifies that Scilab need not do anything if variables are redefined. Other arguments are used to issue warnings or errors if the variables are redefined. Next we use the input function. It will display a message to the user and get the values of A and B matrices. The message should be placed within double quotes. The matrices that the user enters will be stored in the variables A and B. Here, A is the coefficient matrix and B is the right-hand side matrix or the constant matrix. Then we define the function Naive Gaussian Elimination and we state that A and B are the arguments of the function Naive Gaussian Elimination. We store the output in variable x. Then we find the size of matrices A and B using the size command. Since they are two-dimensional matrices, we use N and N1 to store the size of matrix A. Similarly, we can use M1 and P for matrix B. Then we have to determine if the matrices are compatible with each other and if A is a square matrix. If N and N1 are not equal, then we display a message that matrix A must be square. If N and M1 are not equal, we display a message incompatible dimension of A and B. If the matrices are compatible, we place matrices A and B in one matrix C. This matrix C is called augmented matrix. The next block of code performs forward elimination. This code converts the augmented matrix to upper triangular matrix form. Finally, we perform back substitution. Once the upper triangular matrix is obtained, we take the last row and find the value of the variable in that row. Then once one variable is solved, we take this variable to solve the other variables. Thus, 
the system of linear equations is solved. Let us save and execute the file. Switch to Scilab console to solve the example. On the console, we have a prompt to enter the value of the coefficient matrix. So we enter the values of matrix A. Type square bracket 3.41 space 1.23 space minus 1.09 semicolon 2.71 space 2.14 space 1.29 semicolon 1.89 space minus 1.91 space minus 1.89 close square bracket press enter the next prompt is for matrix B so we type open square bracket 4.72 semicolon 3.1 semicolon 2.91 close square bracket Press enter. Then we call the function by typing nail Gaussian elimination open parenthesis A comma B close parenthesis. Press enter. The solution to the system of linear equations is shown on Scilab console. Next we shall study the Gauss-Jordan method. In Gauss-Jordan method, the first step is to form the augmented matrix. To do this, place the coefficient matrix A and the right hand side matrix B together in one matrix. Then we perform row operations to convert matrix A to diagonal form. In diagonal form, only the elements A, I, I are non-zero. Rest of the elements are zero. Then we divide the diagonal element and corresponding element of right hand side element by the diagonal element. We do this to get diagonal element equal to 1. The resulting value of the elements of each row of the right hand side matrix gives the value of each variable. Let us solve this example using Gauss-Jordan method. Let us look at the code first. The first line of the code uses format function to specify the format of the displayed answers. The parameter E specifies the answer should be in scientific notation. 20 denotes that only 20 digits should be displayed. Then we get the A and B matrix using the input function. We define the function Gauss-Jordan elimination with input arguments A and B and output argument x. We get the size of matrix A and store it in M and N. Similarly, we get the size of matrix B and store it in R and S. If the sizes of A and B are not compatible, we display an error on the console using error function. Then we perform row operations to get diagonal form of the matrix. Here, pivot refers to the first non-zero element of a column. Then we create a matrix of zeros called X with M rows and S columns. Once we have the diagonal form, we divide the right hand side part of augmented matrix by the corresponding diagonal element to get the value of each variable. We store the value of each variable in x. Then we return the value of x. Finally, we end the function. Now let us save and execute the function. The prompt requires us to enter the value of matrix A. So we type open square bracket 0 0.7 comma 1725 semicolon 0 0.4352 comma minus 5.433 close square bracket press enter the next prompt is for vector b so we type open square bracket 1739 semicolon 3.271 close square bracket press enter 
Then we call the function by typing Gauss Jordan elimination open parenthesis a comma b close parenthesis press enter. The values of x1 and x2 are shown on the console. Let us summarize this tutorial. In this tutorial we have learned to develop Scilab code for solving system of linear equations. Find the value of the unknown variables of a system of linear equations. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict-intro. This is Ashwini Patil signing off. Thank you for joining.